Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid, as always. Ah, we have a free day. We don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to do anything. So, as promised, I think today is going to be a day we're just going to clean up the farm. Um, try and make this place a little more livable. Oh, right. I forgot. We have, uh, we have Robin upgrading our house. Say hi to Jeff. And it looks like we still have a few days out for any of our crops, so that's no big deal. Okay, and farming done. It's that simple. Okay, but yeah, like I said, I think we're just going to go through and chop down some trees, clean up some rocks, uh, you know, weed the place a little bit, and uh, just try and sort of clean up after uh, a full year of essentially, um, you know, being nose to the grindstone. But it uh, looks like our goats have milk. So that's pretty cool. Um, do we still need goat milk for a community bundle? Uh, we don't, do we? Yeah, because we have almost... Yeah, we're, we're very close. Well, that's awesome. Either way, though, uh, goat milk and goat cheese sells for quite a bit more, I believe. So this is exciting. might have to make some more cheese presses that might be the order of the day and I think I might bring them outside which is kind of like a weird thing um, in a realism sense I don't know how I feel about having um, cheese presses just hanging out but it kind of bothers me I, I with them inside I am um, drastically more likely to forget their existence and not throw the milk in there. So we're gonna try this. Putting it right there, I think I'm just far more likely to pay attention and actually reap the benefits of having cheese presses. So uh, in not Stardew related news, actually we'll go with Stardew related news first. I've, uh, I was up very late last night. Uh, like 4, 4.30, something like that. And um, I'm just having a hard time sleeping. Uh, so I, I was playing uh, Remnant 2. It came out not that long ago. I don't know if anyone's familiar with it. It's sort of a Dark Souls-ish, third-person shooter, multiverse craziness. Anyway, um, I'm on the very, very final boss of that game. And I am stuck because I am... Uh, trying to beat the game solo, I, I haven't allowed any- whoops, <laughs> reading raw eggs again! I have not opened my world up to um, multiplayer. Uh, just because, you know, it's not a terribly long game, and I thought first time through, I'm gonna try and just beat it myself. So, super fun. Um, now, now, how does that relate to Stardew? It doesn't! I'm a moron. But, uh, point being is when I was finished, uh, I was like, you know, I need to just chill and, uh, you know wind down a little bit and I had some suggestions uh, in my you know my recommendations on YouTube for um, some various Stardew content and it was uh, well they were labeled uh, not the same way I label mine but you know s similarly it was like you know Stardew day you know six. Oh, there's my phone going off <laughs> sorry about that you know Stardew like day six or whatever and um so I was like, oh, I'll check this out. You know, I, I like to see, um, like I said, I do not watch Stardew content, uh, but I specifically, I don't watch, um, I don't watch like the big, you know, long form content. Like, you know, I made a million dollars without leaving the farm and whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. I think that stuff's cool. And I think someday I'd like to give that a try. But I also, in a way, don't want to spoil my thoughts of what, how would I go about doing that, you know what I mean? Because I do, at some point, think it would be fun to do challenges like that, but I want to work on my other long-form content that, that I'm currently doing now before I get lost in that. So anyway, I watched a couple of these videos, and there was two specific channels. Um, I'm... I, uh... 
I'll probably just put a card to link to their channels. I believe one was called like, like setting sunset or something like that. A little redundant, I know, but, um, and the other one was, I think, called like Foxy Roxy. Um, both, uh, you know, uh, relatively low subscriber channels. And yeah, what, uh, the setting sunset one, um, they did like an intro with, with voice. And then the rest was, uh, no commentary playthrough of like a few days, um, with cuts to, you know, get to the, get to the point, which I thought was, uh, like a nice way of, of doing it. And then there was, um, the Foxy Roxy one was full blown. It was weeks at a time. It was like hour and 45 minute video. So obviously I did not get through a whole video of theirs, uh, before I fell asleep, but yeah, it was just, uh, it was an interesting, you know, no commentary, just playing the game. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. It was also interesting to see a game of Stardew without, um, you know, 70 some mods in it or whatever. It was, it was cool. Uh, felt, uh, felt like a, <laughs> like a nice natural place to be. But anyway, so that was, that was my little Stardew news. Not really news. I just, uh, yeah, I found some other small channels like me and it was, it was fun to kind of, uh, see what other people do that aren't, um, sort of established, you know, um, professional YouTubers, so, pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, and beyond that, I, uh, I'm very excited today is, uh, the release of Baldur's Gate, um, I have played a little bit of the, uh, early access, I, however, I did try to stay mostly out of it, um, because, A, it's all getting wiped. I don't want to have to redo it. Um, and B, I... Uh, so if you're not familiar, Baldur's Gate is a game um, based in Dungeons & Dragons. The original Baldur's Gate was based in Dungeons & Dragons, like, second edition, I think, something like that. And none of this really means anything if you don't know D&D, but it, suffice it to say, um, every, you know so many years, D&D comes out with a new, quote, addition, right? Where they update the rules, they change things, they add, subtract, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they're currently on fifth edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Baldur's Gate has, you know, been a series for, like, 25 years, and I've always liked the games, and I am, as I've said on the channel before, I am a avid, uh, D&D, well, tabletop role-playing game, uh, player. I... I play Pathfinder now, but um, I, I only played Pathfinder because uh, Dungeons and Dragons Edition 3.5 was my favorite. Oh, there's Poke just pushing her way into the recording room. Hello, Honk. Um, yeah, I was, I'm an avid uh, 3.5 player, and so... Oh, we can't pick up that cheese. So, uh, when they moved on to different editions, I wasn't a big fan, but... Pathfinder was, uh, sort of, um, the developers, uh, sort of like, you know, we'll make our own D&D with Blackjack and Hookers, and so they went off and made, um, Pathfinder. So that's really more what I, the way I like to play. Um, but, that being said, Baldur's Gate is, um, it looks like it's going to be a really, uh, and from what I have played, it is it is sort of scratching the itch of me wanting to play D and D without having to um, find a group. Because it, for anyone who has played Dungeons and Dragons who watches this, which I don't know, I know someone had mentioned uh, very early on about the um, interest in playing, but never I haven't known. Uh, no one has specifically said that they they do play. But it, um, as an adult, you know, I'm, like I said, I've said this many times before, I am, uh, 34 years old, and it is, it is obscenely difficult to get a group of, um, adults in the same room 
to all play make-believe together and it's upsetting to me because I just want to play some damn make-believe. Um, but this game, it's, it does really, really well uh, with, it, it, or rather to say, it, it does a very good job of emulating the uh, actual D&D &D experience, you know? And um, for me, it's kind of nice to be able to just sit in my room. You know, I, I made a character. You actually get to choose the way things, uh, like, you know, the way you interact with everything specifically. You know, like, I would like to um, use this sp specific skill, you know, to uh, try and solve this problem and blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's just, it's very well done. And, uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that. The, the big reason why I did, I'm going to keep some of pickled garlic because I'm not going to lie in real life. I love pickled garlic. I, but the, uh, the reason, the other big reason I wanted to hold off is that in the, in the, uh, early access, they do not have, um, you know, they don't have every race available. They don't have, uh, Essentially, there's just there's a lot of things that you can't do, um, and I I want to I wanted to really have everything laid out in front of me. You know, I wanted all of my options possible before I really delve into it. Like I made a uh, I made a hobbit. I don't call them halflings. I know they're halflings, but I'm I'm literally actively going through uh, reading the Lord of the Rings again right now. It, just to me, you know. Halflings will always be hobbits. Um, but I made a hobbit um, bard. I made a druid. Uh, I wanted. I really want to make a, a half orc. There's just there's so much, so many things you can do. And um, yeah, I just want to make sure that I can actually get the full experience. So that starts at eleven o'clock today. Which in fact it's like nine o'clock right now when I'm recording this. So by the time you're watching this, I will be. Uh, I will be well into Baldur's Gate. Trying to sleep, really? How did we miss old goth chick? I feel bad. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go down a little south. We'll focus on some cleanup down here. But, so anyway, that's, that's, that's what's going on in my life. I, you know, I was, I was thinking about it, though. I... I have a very difficult time getting through um, a game that isn't like Stardew in my adult life. Like, I, what I love about Stardew is that there's, you know, the storyline is what you make it. Um, I love those kind of games, and the older I get, the more I love those kind of games. Um, I have found that, you know, sitting down, like, I know Baldur's Gate is, like, conservatively a 70 to 100 hour game and I'm probably going to be on the higher end of that if not even past the high end of that because of the way I, I play RPGs I you know I want to check every side path and um, you know talk to every character and this is the way I am and I, I was actually talking to a friend uh, at work about how I just don't I don't know. I really want to try and get through Baldur's Gate, but I I don't know if I have it in me to get through a game like that anymore. Uh, I'm really, really, really going to try. Uh, part of my sobriety has been trying to make sure I stick to things that um, I m maybe previously would have... Um, I won't say given up on. I mean, I guess that is technically the result, but it's 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 less of a like frustration, like oh, I'm done with this, and more of a um, it's just a it's an apathy that comes through being an addict. Also, a bit of a um, there's a there's a lot of uh, what's the right word? Well, I mean, you know, you can call it you know, mania or whatever you want, but essentially, it, it's it can be really. Um, really difficult to not just bop around from thing to thing to thing when you are an addict it the uh the mindset the, the mindsets are very there's a, there's a lot of in that venn diagram there's a lot of overlap between addicts and um uh erratic behavior right so something i have been working on is trying to stem that a little bit obviously 
one of those things being with this channel, you know? Trying to make sure I do this every day. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've... I missed, I missed a day and I could have kind of half missed another, but, um, as, uh, I, I, you know, as they'll tell you in, uh, AA, you know, progress, not perfection, right? So anyway, my point being with Baldur's Gate is that I am really going to try to get through that game, like fully. Um, it's not something I'm going to record. It's A, I believe it has, um... I believe it has like nudity and uh, some things that I just, I don't really want to deal with YouTube yelling at me about, you know, I'm a grown man. I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with YouTube telling me I can't um, romance a character because there's, might be a dong or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, but yeah. That's, that's what I'm gonna be doing in my in my in my off time. We have a lot going on down here in the bottom half of the uh, field, don't we? You know, this doesn't actually bother me that much. I think I I want to sort of clean this middle area because it feels like every time we walk through here, I'm getting stuck on something. Yep, see right there. So this is a little better. I mean, the farm is not perfect by any means but it's looking better it is definitely looking better uh and oh you know something i realized by watching um i don't even remember which one of those two but one of those two stardew channels one thing i realized is you know what why are we not making use of a workbench you know what i mean then i could i could put all these chests together and our workbench would actually be useful so we might have to look into that as well put this quartz away and then we'll get on with the night it, this was a I feel like this was a very fast day I guess when you don't leave your farm you know there's not there's no distractions so it definitely feels like this was a quick one but you know hey that's okay it's a cleanup episode and just listening to me ramble about stuff that barely makes sense so that's fair right, we'll just put the apricot in the fridge I suppose there we go. Fridge is getting overwhelmed as well. All right, let's go ahead and check our weather. Light breeze and lots of pollen. Okay, oh, honks back there, cuddled behind the Junimo. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. This is kind of a, kind of a whatever episode. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But hey, you know, we gotta do a little spring cleaning and uh, spring cleaning in my brain as well. I suppose just kind of get all the, the, the cobwebs out. But, either way, I will be back tomorrow. I think we're going to try and go, um, I know we, whose birthday was it? Let's see real quick. It's Anton's birthday. Well, that's good. I think we're going to go to Ridgeside anyway, because I want to turn in that fish fossil we found. I'm very interested in what that's all about. And, uh, beyond that, we're just going to do our basic, uh, you know, everyday stuff. And then I think head to Ridgeside. And if we have time... We're going to come back and clean up the farm a little bit more. But I'm okay with our progress. I, we cleared up some pathways. That was my big problem. Um, we'll worry about the, the bottom half of the field somewhat later. I'm not overly worried about that. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, be good to each other. I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night.